In today's KT Explainer, we are covering a crisis in India's second coronavirus wave. India has been reeling under a severe second wave of COVID-19 and many states are struggling to cope with the rising numbers. It is now the world's second most infected nation with more than 15 million cases as of Tuesday, April 20. We've seen a systematic increase in cases across India, more or less taking off at the same time, suggesting that what might be happening is that something that is more transmissible between people is very rapidly moving through the population of people who are yet to contract the infection and therefore spreading faster. The capital city, Delhi, has announced a week-long lockdown after a record spike in cases overwhelmed the city's healthcare system. The lockdown came into effect from 10 p.m. 19th of April and will remain in effect till 5 a.m. Monday, April 26. However, during the week-long lockdown, essential services such as those related to food, medicine and health will continue. I hope that this is a small lockdown and it will remain small. मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि शायद बढ़ाने की जरूरत ना पड़े आप दिल्ली में रहिए यकीन मानिए हम पूरी ईमानदारी के साथ सब मिलकर लड़ेंगे तो जल्दी इस मुसीबत से छुटकारा पाएंगे मैं आपको यकीन दिलाता हूं सरकार आपका पूरा ख्याल रखेगी India's third largest state Maharashtra is likely to impose a complete lockdown with a decision likely to be made soon. With hospitals full and oxygen and medicines in short supply, several major cities are reporting far larger numbers of cremations and burials. In wake of the severe COVID surge, there has been some changes in regulations related to passengers travelling from India to Dubai. As announced by some of the major Indian airlines, starting April 22 at 12 a.m., all passengers traveling from India to Dubai airports must hold a valid COVID-19 test certificate issued within 48 hours from the time of collecting the sample. Currently, passengers are required to undergo a PCR test 72 hours before departure. Furthermore, it is mandatory that the report includes a QR code, which is linked to the original report for verification by the airline. Mr. Speaker, after studying the data and on a precautionary basis, we've made the difficult but vital decision to add India to the red list. Besides the UAE, other countries too have now started tightening norms for travellers from India. The UK has put India in its travel red list. Hong Kong has activated an emergency circuit breaker and banned passenger flights from India for 14 days, starting April 20. Americans have been advised to avoid traveling to India. New Zealand too suspended entry of travelers from India earlier this month. 